Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be understanding case sensitivity in vari variables. Um, the idea behind this is that when you describe variable names, uh, in JavaScript we use var to say this, so this is, de we're describing a variable name. Uh, we're assigning elements to that. Um, if you have a, you could say a equals 10, and then a plus 1 would be equal to 11, if that makes sense. Uh, I hope that helps. Variable uh, assignment is very important in programming, and so it's important that we learn the uh, essence of that, of variable assignment. And one of the important things about variable assignment is capitalization. And so in JavaScript, all variables and functions uh, names are case sensitive. This means capitalization matters. Uh, capital, all, all letters capitalized, my var is not the same as my var with uh, the M and the V capitalized, and it's not the same as my var with, a, uh, with all lowercase. This would be all examples of var variable names. It is possible to have multiple distinct variables um, with the same name but different casing, but it's strongly recommended that you don't do that. Yeah, just don't do that. Don't give, don't try to trick people with your variable names, right? Um, the best practice, write variable names, and, and when we do JavaScript, we write uh, variable names in camel case, which means we start off the first word, all lowercase, and then the second word, third word, and fourth word, and so on. After that, you put a capitalization at the beginning. So they're giving you examples here of well done um, camel case word, uh, variable names. Some variable, so variable is capitalized in lowercase, some. Another variable name. So you could say Chuck Norris, right? S lowercase Chuck, and then capital N O R R I S. Uh, all the re Everything else in lowercase. That would be how to do camel case. This variable name is, is so long. So there you go. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six uh, word camel case variable name that's all in camel case. Um, and so what they're asking us to do here is just to write everything properly. Um, I think the key is to look over here. You've got studly cap var. Um, so the way this is spelt in this like random hacker-esque um, language. So you just write studly cap var. Um, and then you do the same thing here. Uh, there's a trick here. Can you do this? If you press, if you double click that one, and then you double click this one uh, with the command key pressed down, you should be able to go proper. Oh, it doesn't let us do that. Camel case. Okay, cool. Looks like we've got that one right. Uh, title case over. This one needs to have a lowercase. Okay, cool. I think that's going to pass it. So basically all they're trying to do in this lesson is just try to teach you how to write camel case. And it's worth practicing, you know. Um, just You could even write your name, you know. Like my name's Ian Robinson. That's how it looks in camel case. Um, uh, Nelson Mandela. Um... Uh, what's that name of the guitar players? Jimi Hendrix. Um, no, David Lee Roth. So you would want to go David Lee Roth, right? So that's how you write camel case. Hope that helps, and we'll see you in the next lesson.